Someone left that cigarette, so. I don't follow the fucking law, I do what's fucking right in the moment. You want to smack near me, I'll fucking chuck your cigarette in the bin. Hey, look at me! I'm a fucking cigarette smoker! I don't give a fuck about anyone's health, not even mine! I'm a fucking smoker! Look at me, I'm a fucking idiot! What did God say to the cigarette smoker? You're a fucking shit cunt. Let's get some cigarettes going, eh? Let me put the camera down, destroy these better. There we go. Oh, that feels good. Ah, oh, fucking hate cigarettes. And this is a good thing about not being sponsored. I don't need the money, I don't need the fucking product. But, I do enjoy contributing to people and I do enjoy meaning what I say and saying what I mean without having fear of like, Harley, you can't really say that. And, oh my God, you know, you're representing our brand or whatever. And I understand that. And I'm not having a dig at anyone who's sponsored. That's nothing wrong about that. It's just not my choice. And... Because this is not a fucking popularity contest, please don't leave hate comments. I actually do, because I fucking love it. And I love deleting fucks out there. I said I didn't don't delete. I de the only reason I'll delete shit is so people fucking post again. And that will rank your video higher. It's called uh, social media. Uh, that's another little thing. Social media optimization. There's a thing called se uh, search engine optimization and audience retention. And if you get a lot of comments or clicks, dislikes, or whatever, that's what you want. And if stuff gets deleted and posted back again, it gets sort of... Just Google it up. I digress. This is not a fucking popularity contest for me. I couldn't give a flying fuck what you're thinking about me. If you like me, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too. It's your choice. It's your opinion. But here's the fucking truth, man. Here's the reality. It's a fucking chaotic world out there. It's a dog-eat-motherfucking-dog world. And you can be dead any fucking day. So try to live your life like a popularity contest. Oh my God, oh my God, someone said this or... Don't say that or whatever, who gives a fuck? Do what motherfucking needs to be done. And get used to disapproval. The hardest thing about being vegan is other vegans giving you fucking shit. Because it's weird. I can't explain it. Maybe if you've got a psychology degree, you can explain it. But what's the deal with other vegan crew just flagging and flaming out of the blue? How does it fucking work? It used to sort of get me down a little bit, but I was talking to this morning about it, and it's like, well, what's our fucking goal? Is it a popularity contest? It's fucking not, it's activism. Activism is creating social change. Gandhi and Jesus and everyone fucking else. Do you really give, think they give a fuck about popularity? MLK, all these motherfuckers out there who got shit done, created social change. You know, Helen White, etc. They didn't give a fuck, they focused on their purpose, they focused on creating social change, activists, the pioneers of activism. And therefore we can learn a lot from them. So again, if you want to be an activist, the hardest thing about being a vegan activist is other vegan fuckwits who aren't even really fucking vegan. Sorry man, if you're fucking bagging us, you're not a fucking vegan. We convert more people than ever. You walk with us down to any fucking mall anywhere in the world, especially in the US and Australia, people will stop and go, oh my God, see you. And they'll fucking tear up and they'll be like, can I get a photo? You've helped me so much. And if you can get that level of recognition, I'll be fucking listening to you. You're not a fucking vegan. You're motherfucking fake as fuck. And you're passive aggressive as fuck. And you would never ever say any of this shit to our faces. Ever. Ever. You know, even that fuckwit Colpo who came up to me this year, came up with a fucking buddy, with a fucking pit bull terrier, waited until I had my head down, and then fucking gave me a knock. And he waited for other people to be riding for 12 hours. So there's so many fuckwits online who talk a big game. But in 13 years, no one's ever come up to my face when I'm ready to do it. You fucking suck. I'm only 60 fucking seven kilos. I'm not that scary. Philly's only like 50 kilos. I'm not that scary. Where's all the tough people from the internet in your life? They don't exist. So my bottom line thing is, don't worry about haters. Because haters is just on the net. Haters make you famous. Focus on activism, focus on creating social change. Focus on the fucking animals. If the animals can say something to you, they'd say harden the fuck up and speak motherfucking louder.